Today we're going to talk about 12 things we forget to clean. I'm Suzanne Ridgway, this is Let's Eat, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about 12 things we forget to clean with some bonus clips. If you're just starting your spring cleaning, I hope I can help you get everything done and running smoothly for your home. These are some mandatory key points in your home that you should clean two to three times a year that don't need to be cleaned every single day. Although some suggest, like the baseboard clip, which you'll see, you should be doing your baseboards every time you sweep, and that's just ridiculous. Who has time for that? Especially in the summer, to keep them dust free. In the winter time, you should do it just a little more because the heat is turned on. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on my link and checking me out. I hope that you will choose me to become your cleaning motivation coach. I do a lot of cooking, grocery hauls, and Dollar Tree hauls. If any of this interests you, click on my subscribe word below. Also, it would really help me out if you give this video a big thumbs up and smash that like button. Also, smash that bell, which is for your benefit, and it will let you personalize to your preference and how you want to be notified. Let's get into the list. The first two things that we forget to clean are the washer and dryer. Here's a clip. 12 things we forget to clean. One, dryer. Two, washer. They get really dirty. The third thing that we forget to clean is the outdoor garbage cans. They get dirty and smelly, just like the one upstairs. And you should do that in the fall, in the spring, and maybe once in the summer, at least three times a year to keep it from smelling gross. Things we forget to clean. Number three, the garbage cans that get picked up by the garbage people once a week. Your stairway. If you have an entranceway of any kind, you should keep it clean and clutter free and sweep and mop often. Number four on things we forget to clean, the stairs in your entryway, as well as the baseboards and the side of the walls. You should also do the baseboards in your stairway. Number five, I just mentioned baseboards. We forget to clean these. They should be cleaned. They just clean them every time you sweep, but who has time for that? Number six, curtains. We forget to clean our curtains. They get dusty and should be taken down every three to four months and washed. The clip of my curtains, I had just hung them up a few days ago from washing them. Every three to four months, you should take these down from your curtain rod and wash them in your washing machine. And you can either dry them or just let them hang dry depending on how thick your material is of your curtains. And you should wash your curtains regularly a few times a year because they collect a lot of dust. The air conditioner. You should clean the vent regularly and your air conditioner to keep it running smoothly to keep your home nice and cool for your window air conditioning units. Number seven, your air conditioner. Clean the vents regularly to keep them running smoothly during those hot summer months to keep you nice and cool. Number eight, while we're on the subject, the fan. You should take the fan apart at least every 90 days and wipe out the blade. As you see here, my husband's a little behind in his to-do list. Your fans, you should clean them every 90 days as well. Take them apart, wipe the blades down, make sure there's no dust in them to keep them running smooth. Are the corners of all your rooms, including closets. You want to keep them dust free and free of cobwebs. You should scan all the corners in all your rooms for cobwebs. This creates dust. They're not spider webs, they're cobwebs made from dust. And make sure they stay cobweb free, including the corners within your closets. Your lampshades. Get yourself a Dollar Tree lint brush and run it up and down your lampshade to get all the dust lamp off. Shade. The lampshade gets really dusty, and you should keep that clean and free of dust to prevent fires. Number 11, the light bulb. You should also dust these at least once a week so they don't spark a fire. Light bulbs. Before you even turn them on, take a microfiber cloth and just lightly touch it to get all the dust off so you don't spark a fire. And number 12, things we forget to clean. At least twice a year, take these down if you have this type of light fixture. 
because flies and insects die in them from the extreme heat from the light bulb. And you want to keep them clean and dust free to prevent fires. Light fixtures that have a glass dome. Take them down a couple of times a year and clean them out thoroughly. Let them dry and then replace them because bugs, dust, and insects get in there and you don't want them to spark a fire either. Here's a bonus. Clean your doorknobs at least twice a week. They get touched on a regular basis, including the entranceway, bathroom doorknob, as well as closet doorknobs. Bonus things we forget to clean, your remote controls. Make sure you wipe them down at least a couple times a week. Bonus, clean your coffee maker every five weeks with a vinegar water rinse. Run it through as you would brewing coffee with three cups of water and three cups of vinegar to keep the wires and the coffee maker working smoothly. Another bonus, clean your dish rack thoroughly at least twice a week as well as underneath it because the countertop can get pretty gross. Thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end and checking me out. I hope you enjoyed this list of things that we forget to clean. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and I'll do more types of lists like this to help you stay in check and in focus with your cleaning. A lot of people wait to the last minute to spring clean and do like a spring summer cleaning. I start my spring cleaning in January, so I am done and only on regular cleaning and I can enjoy the outdoors when I have downtime and do some crafts and it keeps my schedule running smoothly. Thank you so much for dropping by and watching me all the way to the end. I really appreciate each and everyone's support watching my videos. Even if you watch my videos and you're not subscribed, thank you so much. I hope this is the video that convinces you to click on that subscribe word below. Also, don't forget to tap on that bell because it will notify you when I upload more content.